Hi YouTube, Edward Tyndall here, and Sarah Tyndall, and Freddie Tyndall, and <laughs> Freddie Tyndall, so many Tyndalls. Alright guys, I'm sorry I'm not bringing you as many videos as you want and what you want to see, so I'm going to try to cover all bases here now. For Nightcore Reptiles, I know he likes venomous, and a quick update on my Rattler, check him out, such a nice little boy, or girl, I am having to force feed him pinky rats now but uh it is what it is until i can get him going because i'm not going to lose him look at that pretty pink color beautiful pink beautiful yellow so that is for nightcore reptiles to cover that i want to give a big shout out to jay's reptiles shout out to jay's reptiles um yes um to made uh made ya look see M-A-D-E-Y-A, -E look, and then the letter C. I wanted to say she's wanting to get a uh, retake. I appreciate all the comments and everything and support. Made you look C. On retakes, I love retakes. I got my hand messed up really bad by Scar because of strong feeding response and aggressive feeding behavior. Even Sunshine is kind of like that. You see this? You see how she's acting? Paper towels. Paper towels is a must when you go in here because look, she will go. You see what, how she's going? I let her know with paper towels. It's not feeding time. And you mess with her until they decide to go away. So when they decide to go away, then and only then, you can handle them. Sorry if I moved the camera off. But then you can handle them and they're nice and they're awesome and they're loving creatures. They're awesome. You can do just about anything you want with her. Look at her. She's my girl. My beautiful girl. That is one of the only things I would recommend um, getting yourself used to is with a fast, aggressive feeding response from a retake. Once you have them out, they're pretty much nice. Um, but uh, if they do get you, and uh, I say that I'm a tough man though, and that, that one tore my hand up. Um, I know you're a tough girl swinging hay, hay bales up. I used to do that my own self. Wear me out a long time ago. But anyway, that's what i got to say about the retics. Um, I love them. I recommend anybody have them as long as they understand them. Okay. Zero one asked for a T care sheet. I don't have very many tarantulas now, but as you can see, I am doing something. A lot of people don't want to use these critter cages because of... The fact they don't they have too much ventilation so what i have done is i have hot glued this. this is my own design it might look a little bit tacky but for a um burrowing tarantula such as the king baboons which i have that is an awesome thing and that's a good way to keep um the humidity in there because they need a little bit of extra humidity i bought these from underground reptiles and you they come with valentine's day. yeah valentine's day sarah bought them actually but uh, these are my Valentine's Day presents. Thank you, my lovely. You got spiders and, uh, and Mikey got... Yeah, I got a spider and Mikey got sand boa. But uh, these, here's a quick update on these. You can see he's got a tunnel right there. Dig a tunnel, dig a dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Love that song. Um, some people keep them on vermiculite. You can check out Deadly Tarantula Girl. She keeps all of her teas on vermiculite and it works fine for her. I keep mine on cocoa bark and vermiculite, sometimes just depending. I'm going to have some more elaborate setups before long, and I will have a bunch of teas in the future. We're working on my, uh, my partner actually, is working on a uh, bunch of uh, new stuff. We'll have Pocolotheria, or Postlotheria Metallica, the Goody Sapphire Ornamental Slings, and I'll show you all how to raise them up and how, to, how I'm going to be housing them and keeping their uh, cages and stuff. I love tarantulas of all types. Um, tarantulas are not for everybody. This is would be considered definitely not a beginner species of tarantula, but my first snake was a baby copperhead or a baby cottonmouth that I raised up at the age of three years old. So that ain't really a that ain't really a snake with training wheels, as deadly viper or viper keeper would say. Okay, and for T. Kershey though. Um, just to cover some of the topics, I will do a more in-depth tea care sheet later <coughs> on teas. When you get small slings, you would want to keep them in something like this or smaller. 
that you can just pop the top off of. If it's a non-arboreal species, I've had trouble with avicularas because when you open this, they like to put their web at the top and it messes up every time and that can't be comfortable for the spider. Um, after they get out of this stage, these cages I built here, a long time ago they were I think for Beanie Babies or some kind of display thing and uh, you can get the ones at Walmart and yeah. food yeah you can get them for food or whatever no, but, not they, these, but no, these, these I'm, I'm going over them but these right here I've done for uh, kind of a boreal or whatever you can have it as a burrowing tarantula as well these one here are in the Walmart department I just carved a uh, the food section that you can put like flour, candy, yep. and stuff like that. You just yep. want to drill little small holes. Mm -hmm. And we like ready. this. It opens like this and locks down. If y'all see, it's got this rubber on it. So you put this in here. Mama sees you put you the right. rubber in there and it's there. It's it's tight. You can hold it by the lid or whatever. So that's that. And uh, King Baboon is not really a beginner tarantula. If you want a beginner tarantula, I would say uh, rose hair or some of the brachiopelma i'm not too big on brachiopelma myself i like old world tarantulas because they don't flick your decorating hairs which aggravate the hell out of me i don't like putting up insulation because of that same thing and it's a similar feel to the insulation other than that tarantulas are easy to care for all you have to do is feed them make sure they have the right temp i keep this room about uh 78 it's 80 degrees right now year round if I can it's fixing to be better when we move to the other reptile room um, you got to clean out the bullets which is the leftover food that will come and discard on the top of their cage okay I want to give a shout out to cam chronic cam chronic C A M K R O N I C cam chronic he wants an update on the leopard geckos and the frogs um, I'm not going extremely in depth with it but uh, here is the pixie frog. He's a boss, a beast, a king, a small god on this earth. Maybe sir, I'll kiss him one day and see if he turns into a prince. LOL. LOL. The only thing I'll kiss <laughs> is my Freddy. <laughs> okay, and then one more thing from Zena and Zero. They asked about ball python eggs in my incubator. I have this normal ball python Raja, ball python that was bred with spider hit. 100% pied. She has not had babies yet and she's been off of food, which is strange. I can't get her to eat anything for over a month now or two. Okay, okay. But uh, what I'm incubating in here, I have this uh, Vivarium Electronics VE100. It's at 99 degrees and the probe is 99. Where are you going, Freddie? He's going crazy. Bring him back. Bring him back because I want to show him too. I got more to say about him. Um, Vivarium Electronics VE100. I hooked this up to a igloo refrigerator that i have stripped of everything and right now i put water bottles in here all the way up i found out this design lines modified a little bit from the design that i found here's the probe this is what tells your temperature right now i got chicken eggs in here and then i have a bowl of water loose to make the humidity up so they can hatch or chicken and duck eggs the water and so when i open the door i can easily shut the door back and it'll go right back up so it's that long of a time it's been open it's still at 98 degrees reading on the probe and it's set for 99 degrees which is perfect temperature this one here that's incubating i don't think it's going to do anything my leopard gecko eggs are incubating right now i have two of them up there and they are at 80 degrees so they're going to take a little bit longer to hatch out but i'm sure they will hatch out i'm trying to cover a lot of topics for you guys um pac-man frogs are doing excellent look at that beautiful thing I will be having some baby Pac-Man frogs available for y'all within the next couple of months. Hopefully, if all goes well, I'm trying to secure a deal on some really awesome morphs right now that I will be able to offer my fans for the first time and the whole time that y'all have been watching me. But uh, all these guys are still alive and well and doing great. Um, now for the leopard geckos, we are going to... Um. Um, do some weigh-in on the leopard gecko. Oh yeah, Freddy is having a fit. Take out Freddy. Freddy don't like. Uh, <laughs> Take him out. Freddy don't like raising hell in a. In a uh, yeah, he's gonna go nuts because. Uh, let's see if we can get in here with some Freddy action without him getting out. What's going on, Freddy? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? You ain't never been in the snake room, have you? Hey, 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 Freddy. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, 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 Freddy. There's so many things in here that would eat the hell out of you. He's like, Daddy, there's so many things I would eat the hell out of in here, too. That's a, that's a everything eat everything world. Uh, Freddy, Freddy's got his name. Freddy Krueger. Shit, he'll eat a baby pinky mouse. I ought to film that for y'all one day. Uh -uh. Anybody, anybody else wants to? Oh, shit, that's the wrong thing to get on to. You got in the sticky out damn thing. Look at this. Look at this. This is the kind of shit we got to put up with. No. Hold this camera. Hold this camera. Oh, my God, Freddy. You get in sticky shit. Let go. Ow. Let go. Well, that's a hell of a mess. I guess I'm going to get a lot of hate from this, but y'all are going to deal with it. Don't get in sticky shit. I told Damn. you. Damn. Ow. <laughs> hey, shit happens, people. You have to deal with it. Get in your bag. Get in your bag. Get in your bag. This is a dangerous place in here. Yeah, anybody wants to see Freddy eat? <laughs> God damn, he's sticky. Anybody want to see Freddy eat a pinky rat? Leave it in the comments. And uh, Freddy probably won't do that again. We're in a sticky mess now. But I will let her uh, <laughs> deal with him. As far as anybody wants to know, yes, we do have babies. They are in the oven. Yes, they are in the earth. In the, don't they call it earth? In or, the pouch. Wait a minute, earth, what's an earth? Oh, never mind. I'm thinking about, I think I'm thinking about a uh, praying mantis thing as an earth. Or earthica or something. It's their pouch. It's their pouch. Pouch. Their pouch, yeah. Well, it says uh, out of earth. Ow! On a lot of stuff, it says out of earth. I told you, don't do it. It says a lot of out of earth. All right, well, hurry up and do that and come back and help me hold this camera. This is live reality TV, people. That's that's a fucked up situation they're getting in that thing. But Freddy will do what Freddy does. Um, all right, we are going to deal with some leopard geckos. I'm going to show you all some leopard geckos. We have got them. They're all eating now. Picked up weight from last time video. They were doing really bad, actually. They're doing a lot better now. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to turn the scale on. Let me make sure it's weighing in grams. Yes, it's in grams. All right, this guy, I don't know what they weighed last time, but they're definitely going up. This guy now weighs 17 grams. 17 grams. They're going up in weight. They're doing absolutely great, actually. So, some of them picking up weight more than others. Let me see here. This is our blazing blizzard. She's got a fat tail. She's been eating the hell. She's been eating the hell out of those things. Our blazing blizzard now weighs. What does she weigh? This girl's getting big. I'll be breeding her probably next year or the end of this year, depending on how much weight I can get on her. She weighs 36 grams. Yeah, big, fat, plump, juicy tail. This is what a leopard gecko is supposed to look like, people. Not like the ones you've seen in my last video on leopard geckos. They were doing rough, like I said, in some of them, but some of them have went off of food, and now they are back on food. And uh, this is one of them that... I don't know what exactly is going on with her, but she's not doing too well. She didn't want to eat much of anything. I've had to even force her a couple of times. And you can see how you can kind of, you can see hip bones in here. I don't know how she's still alive. I mean, she's got food offered to her and everything. Let's see if we can get her on this skill, what she weighs. I don't even like showing this on film, but I don't have nothing to hide with you guys. There's shit happens sometimes and we can't do anything about it. Um, she weighs 25 grams. I think that's an upgrade from last time when she was there. But she has uh, she has all kinds of uh, food offered to her. And if she starts picking up, maybe she'll come out of that poor state of health that she's in. Or was in. She was in a poorer state of health. But she's doing a lot better now. I got this one already. This one. Here is pineapple. Super high pro tangerine carrot tail giant. Look at that. How badass is that? Let's see if we can lick the camera. You gonna lick the camera? So mama's got something else. Oh, oh, oh. You lick your daddy. These are an awesome animal people. He's heavy. He was 90. 100 or 90 something last time. What was he last time? Like 90 something. He's 92 now, is what I'm reading. Hold on. Stay there. Uh, yes, they don't listen. Stay there. He is 90, 92 grams. 
That is pineapple. He is awesome. Here, a little bit of a, hold on. A little bit of a way to tell y'all how to tell. One thing, they got balls on a male. Can, are you seeing this? And then this bee right here. Are you seeing what I'm trying to show them? This is how you sex the leopard gecko. This is the ball sack, I guess. And this V indicates that that's a male. And sometimes you'll see some waxy substance here on that. If it's a V, it's a male. Let me get a female. And I will show you all the difference between male and female. This is a female here. Wild child. Yeah, wild child. The female here, she was doing a little bit rough. Look in here, you can see no V. No V, still slender, thin tail, but she's starting to pick up weight, I can tell. Um, that was another one that was off of food for some reason. No, in, no particular reason. She has 20, she has 28 grams. 28 grams, people. And she was, at one point, a lot bigger. You can see the difference. This is a healthy leopard gecko. This is a not so healthy leopard gecko, but not worth giving up on. She's fixing the shit now, so she's still doing good. Um, pineapple never misses a meal, and you can't stop him from eating if you wanted to. If he stopped feeding him for any reason, he'd probably eat his own stuff. But uh, hopefully this old girl will uh, start doing better. Yes, she uh, she ate the shit out of her mealworms. This is empty, and it was full just the other day, so I'll refill this. I'm going to refill all of her... Uh, all of these actually oh. this is after two days we change these out every two days now instead of every three this one's going into another shed here and he has wrecked his pen he's throwing stuff everywhere we have the d3 calcium and this stuff and everything else. this is the raptor also a male you see the ball sack and uh son, bee. Son, you don't even want it because you and run from them he is now um, 31 grams. And look how pale color he is because he's fixing his shit. 31 grams. What an awesome animal. Ain't that awesome? Edward Tyndall says, Gecko Cam! <laughs> that's what Viper Keeper says about his stuff. Oh, that's so funny. Yes. Uh, oh, and to haters out there, don't compare me to Viper Keeper. Because I'm not Viper Keeper. Viper Keeper is not me. He does things his way. I do things my way. He's not a know-it-all, and neither am I. Um, some of y'all might think that. But, uh, that is what it is. Um, we're going to have to get more millworms for these. We'll do that after the video. Um, what have I not covered? I tried to get a bunch of stuff in here for you guys at one time. Um, I'm still trying to breed these, uh, Rat snakes, Everglades rat, Skillis, Everglades rat, hit for Skillis. And then in what about Java? Badass Alabama, a pink looking one. Java, I covered him, the hut. Oh, and we got that. What is that? Oh, dot peep. Oh, a teat peep. <laughs> Oh, that, peep, that peep's in a good place. Not going to be good for that one. Oh. You want to feed Java? You want to feed Java? Oh, that's not a, uh, that's not a keeper. That's not black. Hmm. Um, can Java eat that? Who wants to see Java eat this innocent, cute, little teeth peep? I wasn't part of this video. We might make it part of it. Hell with it. Yep, y'all wanted a video. You get a video. Let's see what Dabba does. Drop it right here. Let's see what Dabba does with a chicken. Whoops. That's that's what Dabba does with a chicken. Are y'all seeing that? I hope this video has been a little bit entertaining and educational for you guys. I hope it brought some people some peace, some love, some happiness, and some of all that good shit. Hope uh, a lot of you guys and gals aren't hating. If you are, that's fine. We, if I didn't have right haters, I wouldn't be. I would be doing something wrong. He has to get a mixture besides pinkies. He's got to get his chicken. Yeah, yeah. These uh, eggs are laid from my chicken. 
that me and my family eat every single day. And I made this incubator for snakes that I also hatch out some of the eggs that we don't eat. So it's an everything eat everything world, people. The food chain, before people wants to hate on me or hate on other channels that feed live. As y'all can see, this frog really enjoyed that meal. He eats the shit out of these about once a week. And that's another... No. Uh, that's when we have them in season. He'll get oh, yeah, because when he don't, he's eating other stuff. He eats roaches, he eats crickets, and uh, it just takes so many to fill his big ass up with. He's, uh, I mean, got it. he's job of the hut. This is an awesome burrowing bullfrog. And I have uh, now an awesome burrowing um, king baboon tarantula. And these two species, although they're totally different from everything, they both have an aggressive, badass feeding response. As y'all will see later on, these will be eating chickens and quails and rats and mice and all kinds of weird shit. So y'all stay tuned for all that. everybody that wants to keep running, as you can see, yes, we do love on our animals. Yes, we do have yes. animals. Yes, we do feed them. So if you're going to hate, don't watch our videos. Then go someplace else. Yep. Um, Barney and uh, Sesame Street and all that shit might still be going. I don't know. That was some good stuff. That's what I ra was raised up on. And look how I turned out. <laughs> the king himself, Edward Kendall. Yes, badass and MVP, super. Go ahead, say it. Big dick me. 